Okay, so it may or may not have been over a month since my last upload. But that doesn't really matter because today I'm showing you that 3,000 hours in MX bikes doesn't really prove anything when you're racing the 450 class. And you're as bad as me. But oh, as you just saw there, the game physics sometimes have other plans when it comes to your skill or just luck in this game in general. But these five rounds that I'm about to show you is just kind of a complete mess. And I just decided to make this video on it to represent this mess of recordings. Enjoy. For context, it was honestly an extremely boring first moto. Nothing even happened, so. I was honestly, I'm just gonna skip to the second moto. It's just an insanely boring moto. I almost did die on this last roller though. That did cost me almost fourth or fifth, so could have been bad. Yeah, Hangtown in general was just pretty boring. Just got like two mediocre starts and I just went like five, six on the day. But here is just me messing up like three quarters of the way through the moto and Mina getting by me. It's kind of interesting, I guess, right? It was somewhat of a battle for a little bit. Yeah, but like 95% of this moto, I'm just by myself and it's just super boring. It's super uninteresting motos. On to High Point. Honestly, at High Point, the starts were extremely crucial and getting lucky like that was just I, I don't know i don't even know how i did it but the track was not built very well and it was built in like 12 hours by stone rider so there's lots of these little imperfections these little things that well there's actually lots of things he could have done better on this track it was built in, it was built in under a day but you can't really complain under a day track but still though did pretty okay here i think it went eight nine but here are some highlights yeah the only highlights i didn't find in this moto are me fucking running into a pole like a moron yeah i don't know stupid moto 2 was more or less the same but somehow shittier because i went from like sixth to the ninth in like one lap in the last lap after the restart i still had a pretty good start doing i don't know where am i fourth right now yeah and i choked pretty hard but you know what I'm bad, so it's okay. I'm washed. This entire clip is kind of just sad in general. I was trying to keep up for Will for six, then I go over this burn like a bozo. Just sitting there tumbling. I'm screaming, stop. And then I come trying to come back on the track. That happens. Ugh, what an L. If I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I liked Red Bud. Lots of people disliked it. Um, but I personally liked it. I thought it was pretty fun. Even though it was pretty one-lined, and there was lots of things to go wrong, I found it pretty fun and had an enjoyable experience, even though I didn't do that good. It was still fun for me, and I didn't think it was that bad of a track. Trying to salvage what I can in this moto after a really good start and choking, see passing over watch spike was really sketchy. And I was trying to catch down Panda, but it just didn't really happen. Red Bud Moto 2. An absolute failure of what Moto 1 was. I got a worse start, and I was just not going fast in general. But as you can see here, I kind of got boned on the start because of just unfortunate physics, and I'm in last. Might as well just skip to the good part. I don't know, we're around halfway through the Moto right here, and then I saw a Harry Keenan ranted on the track, and then I just like absolutely just bodied his ass. Like, get the fuck out of my way, pussy. And you, just, you literally just got cussed after that. Spine broken, multiple pieces are shattered. And it was just gone, career over, just like that. Unfortunate, really. But then, but then, no less than 15 minutes later, I get karma, like, insanely hard. This lapper just uh, w moved into the main line while walking his bike, and I just get absolutely bent. I don't even know what the chances of that were. I, I just didn't even bother. I wasn't even mad. I was just like, what just happened? Aiden Confer, uh, let me by. Uh, props to him. Actual W man. I... I don't know if I'll do the same. Actual W man. And for the final round of this video, Southwick. Now this track is known for being extremely rough and sandy, and I thought it was gonna be really bad, but it actually wasn't too bad of a track. It was actually pretty good in my opinion. It's all six, seven out of ten, and most people thought that too, I think. And as you just saw, my star was absolutely horrendous. I'm getting—I don't even know where I am right now. Probably like mid twenties. This absolute biohazard sends it on my left here. I thought I was about to die. And this happens, and take care. Now, it, my motor's over. Might as well just, yeah, take care.
So basically, the entire moto goes by, and I just climb myself back up to sixth. And we're going into this last lap here, and I'm just, I'm basically just chilling. I, I'd already mentally prepared to take a six. I was fine with that. And then I look it down at the hill, and I wash around out of gas like a clown on the last lap. I mean, Southwick did take a lot more gas than normal, but like, dude, what are you doing? I mean, I didn't complain. I took a free fifth, but the second moto was uh, not the same.